Hello everyone and welcome back to One New Podcast. Uh, today I have someone really, really special. Hello, Sara. <laughs> hi, hi. Why do you say I'm special? Well, because I know uh, you are someone really close to the ONA community. Mm. And I would say everyone has seen you at least once in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> And I also know uh, you are a person who has grown in the community. So that makes you really special and oh, unique. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, in this new podcast, uh, the idea is that we get to know you uh, a bit better. And um, we also want to know your experience with learning English. So first of all, Sara, maybe you can talk to us a bit more about yourself. Okay, uh, most of the people who knows me mm -hmm. uh, can say that I am very a kind of crazy. <laughs> I am a motorcycle dirty lover. Uh -huh. I love languages also. When I was a child, I wanted to be a flying attendant oh, because wow. I had to learn another languages because I love uh, flying and know uh, new places mm -hmm. but i didn't do anything about that oh, <laughs> but wow. now i'm here <laughs> yeah i see the point here <laughs> why aren't you a flight attendant now what happened okay uh, daddy told me that in that community doesn't uh -huh. accept short people and black people at the very beginning mm -hmm. i thought that that it was grown because he always lived in a town. Yeah. But last year, when I was living in Spain, my daughter's boss, no, my boss's daughter, mm -hmm. um, she was a flying attendant and she was two centimeters bigger than me, taller than me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to apply to the course. Oh, wow. And they told me no because you are short so it's real oh i see, see. Mm -hmm. okay yeah and there are many requirements like about swimming or about maybe speaking english i guess it's important also uh-huh all right anyways <laughs> so uh Sarah, uh we want to know a bit more about your experience learning english right <clears throat> How did you start and how would you describe that process? Okay, when I came here at the university, I had to take seven uh, English levels. Mm -hmm. When I was in the third one, I won the scholarship, English scholarship. And Great. that was, uh, I don't know, for me it was like a way for uh, in there to myself uh-huh yeah to to show myself that i could overcome all my fears about speaking english it's really meaningful your story because uh first of all you learned in colombia many people sometimes think that they have to go out of the country to learn english secondly because um at UNAC, we have uh, many teachers who are like starting to be teachers and also in, in the community, we have many people who are struggling with English, learning English, and sometimes it feels it takes a whole life mm -hmm. to learn English, more than 20 years studying English and you don't speak English. So it's like a challenge uh, everyone lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also beautiful to see someone who, in simple words, uh, it's... Um, maybe a product also from the language setter, because that means you took uh, by heart uh, all of the things you learned during your levels. So how would you describe that experience? Like, what do you do different to the others uh, to learn English? Okay, <clears throat> obviously I paid attention on class, <laughs> mm -hmm. but by my own, uh, I love uh, songs, listening to music, I started to write the same songs that I knew in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I started to write them in English in a notebook and 
look for the new words, learn them, and it is curious because uh, in my mind, I could I could do all of this speaking English, but mm -hmm. when somebody tell me told me, hey hey come come and please translate for me, I I know I know. I normally, usually, I am very extroverted, sociable, sociable. Sociable, yes. Uh -huh. But in English, I had a, sh I had a shy version. Oh wow! And <laughs> that was ter terrible for me. But uh -huh. mm, last uh, summer, mm -hmm. I went to, <clears throat> I did a Europe trip, mm -hmm. and that was very nice because. Uh, I had to speak in English. You were forced to use yeah. the language. And mm -hmm. I realized that my brain is very, the brain is very great. And maybe capable. Mm -hmm. Because I thought that uh -huh. I can do it. I don't know. And sometimes I, I don't know all the words, but uh, my brain started to show me another words uh, and I started to describe the word that I need to use and people understand. And so that, that was very, that was a very nice experience. Uh, sometimes I had to speak in, speak no, made language uh, signals because uh -huh. even when the most of the people who has learned another language mm -hmm. has learned English, no, not everyone. Not speaks everyone English. speaks English. Yeah, in French, for example, and in Holland, mm -hmm. nobody understand understand in English. So I had to take pictures, uh, show a screenshots, or make signals. But yeah. that was a very nice experience. Yeah, and it's really beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Uh, I think learning a language is like a personal trip everyone lives mm -hmm. and um, it's sometimes I even describe it almost like a spiritual trip mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> because there is one version of you before learning English and then there is another version of mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. <laughs> and the people you get to know uh, maybe the cultures as you were describing uh, can you maybe uh, tell us one particular experience, maybe in Italy, maybe in French, or even in Spain, where um, you were in the middle of something, maybe buying something or asking for any address that you were able to speak English? How did you feel and what happened exactly? <laughs> mm, I was in Bolzano. Bolzano is a city on the north of Italy. It is near to Switzerland, mm -hmm. but they speak Germany, German, yeah, Germany, Italy. Mm -hmm. Io anche in parlando l'italiano by my own. Oh wow! But that was the first time I had to face that. Uh -huh. But I was better in English. In English, they just speak spoke in germany or just a little english mm -hmm. so i had to speak in english because in italy i didn't understand all the things mm -hmm. and <laughs> in in that occasion i uh, discovered <laughs> that sometimes we um, we think that we can do it, but the brain, as I said, is wonderful and is great and, and showed me that all the information in English that I put into it long, long time ago, now uh, go out or went out mm -hmm. in that occasion. But in French, something happened that was very... Uh, <laughs> crazy. For example, mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the bathroom to make pee. Mm -hmm. I was in a, in a shop, in a shop, in a shop. Mm -hmm. 
I asked uh, to some people, what is the toilet? Yeah. People, toilet. They were, they no, were no, no, not no. catching Toilet, it. no, toilet. <laughs> toilet. And I started to, to, to make more movements. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sign language. <laughs> uh, my, tra my internet was bad. Toilet, toilet. No, nobody understood what toilets mean. Uh, at least something came. I need to go to the toilet. Ah, toilet. Toilet. <laughs> so the person simply changed like the accent uh -huh. and the way. See, yeah, I I look at the at the word. Uh huh. That for me that was similar toilet, but. The pronunciation was very different, so nobody understand my pronunciation. But toilet is not in English, it's in French. Toilet. <laughs> yeah. So many people maybe is not familiar mm -hmm. with their accents. Mm -hmm. Like it happens sometimes that people when they listen to someone speaking English from India or from Pakistan, they're like, What is that English? I'm not following anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or uh yeah, like if you hear a latin person speaking english so um that is also interesting in the way you get familiar with different accents mm -hmm. right and even in spanish better. even in spanish uh, for example argentian people is difficult for me to understand them or spain people they speak a <laughs> word for me yeah but yeah, uh -huh, it true. takes time yeah, in my case, sorry about that, but in my case, people from the cold, <laughs> they speak so fast. And sometimes I have to just like ask to ask them to speak slower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, there are many people who maybe uh, haven't lived um, and, and experienced out of Colombia, but they're really, really interested in learning English. Hmm. So what advice, what tips would you give them? Uh, I wanted to to belong to a community, to a meeting community. But I thought I would like to to find some some community when I could learn another culture, another people from another country. Standing in my house. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the app, the app but you can uh, people can do it. Uh, yeah, with technology you can connect uh, to yeah. any language in yeah, any yeah. culture. Mm -hmm. There's no excuses. Yeah. And you can ask some friends. Maybe we don't know, but most of the people who can who, who we can believe speak English. You can practice with them. Yeah, I was actually astonished about the people, like, there are many people who speak English inside UNA community. Mm -hmm. And I got to know that in the faculty institute, I was uh, presenting some lectures and I saw so many people that I never imagined mm. they had so good English. So you just simply get into that at the language center, for example, we also have conversation clubs mm -hmm. and yeah, you just get into that and you will find a way. I think that maybe we as Colombians, I don't know, maybe we, but I had that problem. Mm -hmm. I thought that I, I need needed to speak perfectly to dare to talk with somebody, with somebody, but it's not like that. Mm -hmm. You can see that. When you speak with um, gringo, yeah, for they yes. speak terrible, yes. grammatically speaking, mm -hmm. but you understand to and them. And you love hearing that. Yeah. So we don't have excuses. We can do it. Even when we, we are not perfectly, or we are not fluently, but we can do it. When we, can, we, when we practice and when we do it, we get improved yeah yeah and uh well sadly we have come to the end of this podcast mm -hmm. but i think it's really beautiful uh, all of the learnings all of the wisdom mm -hmm. <laughs> you have shared to us today so thank you so much for sharing and thank you for watching my pleasure
Bye. <laughs> Woo!